Hello, I'm Ad Lakerfeld. This is the first of, I hope, a series of videos about the Theo Janssen mechanism and building Strandwiesten. I met Theo in 2005 and was inspired by his evolutionary way of thinking and working. This first video is about the basics of the Theo Janssen mechanism. When Theo found his mechanism, it didn't work so well. Theo didn't know the length of the tubes. He wrote a computer program to find out it on a more evolutionary way. He let run his Atari computer day and night for a few months and then he got his 13 holy numbers. Here you see the results of Theo's genetic algorithm program. Selection was made on the straightness of and the length of the walking part and the quickness of the reverse. My question was at that time, what is the function of the different parts? And is there a more simple solution? I will show you the result of my investigation. Here you see the heart of the system. The crank is going around, moving the levers. Upper lever is going to the upper part, lower lever is going to the lower part. And I, I have made this parts all the same. The length of the crank is at choice. You can make the crank longer for a longer step or shorter for a shorter step or even zero. And if the crank is zero, we can clearly see the length of this part. While this is 45 degrees, this 90, this must be the square root of two. And this also. We have completed our leg with parts of the same length. And this is the curve the foot makes. You see that outside the crank you can build a leg with only two different parts. Like it is done here. If we look again at our basic mechanism, we see that the lower leg part is always parallel to the upper part. And that the right side of the leg is, is made to provide that. Knowing that means that we can change distances and angles without losing functionality. Here we have the angle and here You see that gives a more elegant result. In this animation I will show you the relation between the length of the crank and the curve. The Dutch word kruk means crank and is now 45, 45% of the base. Each cycle becomes one unit longer. I think here 46, 47, 48, that's the optimum here.
here I pause the video for you can see here that with this crank length it is physical impossible to make that lag when the parts are moving in the same plane but if we change the side angle become possible to use even the length of the crank is half of the base. But there's more when I elongate this parts it will work too. And the elongation rule is that this part is equal to this part and also this part. So with a little core it is possible to make a very long leg. That's nice, isn't it? So you see that as long you respect certain distances, you are free in your design. I have some examples for you so here in a wood early form yeah, the especially the upper part and the lower part here in uh, 3d printing upper part is like this and in the lower part yeah, essential points this this and this this is no inch. Other example. This is in, uh, for another video, other black design. So I'm uh, curious to what it uh, gives to you and what your designs are. Um, Please mail me also with your questions to atatlakeveld.org. I don't have building kits, building plans, but I tell what I know in these videos. Thank you.